I, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a website, decarbmyestate.com. Uh, this is not a talk about carbs. Uh, it is a talk about, when we say decarb, we mean decarbonize. And so that means that this is a website about climate change. So climate change, we're doomed, right? Well, let's take a look at what the current situation is. Uh, right now we're looking at about one degree of uh, additional warming uh, above normal levels. Uh, at two degrees warming, which is where we're headed, uh, we're gonna see more desertification, we're gonna see more flooding. At three degrees, things start to get a little bit scarier. We have ecosystems breaking down, we have intense hurricanes, we have lots of fires, we have literally hundreds of millions of people being displaced from where they live because the places in the earth are no longer um, possible to live in. And at four to eight degrees is basically the apocalypse, like Mad Max or Waterworld, take your pick. Okay, so uh, good news is that actually according to recent changes and the science, the actual projected uh, increase in temperature by the year 2100 is going to fall somewhere between 1.5 and 3 degrees. So that means that um, the worst possible scenario, the apocalypse, actually is very likely not going to happen. So my first lesson for you is when you talk about climate change, and this took me a while to get there, don't be a doomer, right? Don't just think it's all hopeless, because actually things are already getting better. It's up to us to do something to help make it better faster. So you can do something, and it will make a difference. But you're asking, but what? So you may have heard some things that you could do to help stop climate change. Don't waste food. Don't fly. Don't use plastic straws. Eat less meat. Take the bus. Insulate your home. Recycle. To that, I say, meh. <laughs> These are efficiency and lifestyle changes. And they're OK. They're good. You should do them. By all means, do them. But they only get us, even if everybody does it, like 10 to 15% of the way there. And in case you didn't know, the number we have to get to is zero. Zero emissions by 2050 so we can avoid the worst possible outcomes of climate change. So. Our group at Chai Hack Night were inspired by focusing on a bigger picture. Most of the emissions in our society come from our machines, the way we heat our food, heat our homes, the way we get around, driving our cars, and of course the power plants, coal and oil and gas that produce the electricity we use every day. Here's an idea. Replace the dirty machines with clean ones. This is not a new idea, it's called clean electrification. And if you see here on this chart, we have uh, a simple way of looking at this kind of complicated problem. If you break it down into these broader categories of the buildings we live in and work in, the ways we get around transportation, and then the power that we actually produce, that's actually a huge chunk of the problem. And there is still other stuff, we're like not saying that doesn't exist, but this is a huge piece of the, the, of the puzzle, if focusing on just clean electrification. So we built a website to help you with this. Go, you can go right now, it's live, to decarbmystate.com. And we've done a number of things for you. We've pulled together a bunch of data from all, a bunch of different data sources about all 50 states in the US, plus DC. We have the emissions, we have all the electrification of vehicles, we have all the information that you need to know to start counting all these machines we have to replace. You get a map like this. It actually shows you here is all of the states and how they're shaded is based on how much pollution they emit every year. And if you can see from this map, Illinois is actually not doing well. We are the third highest in emissions. We're tied with Pennsylvania and Florida. Texas is the worst, by the way in case you didn't know. Uh, so despite the fact that we have a, Republic, or a, a Democratic governor and Democratic control of Congress and all these people care about climate change, and we passed like a really uh, ambitious climate law in the state of Illinois, known as the Climate and Equitable Jobs Act, CJA, we still have a long ways to go. So you can do things here in Illinois that matter. You don't have to worry about what's going on in DC and like fume at Joe Manchin. Right? You can actually do real things locally to make a big difference in climate change here. 
This is the emissions in Illinois over time. You can see the brown area is the emissions that have happened. The green area is our optimistic scenario of let's turn it all to zero, right? It's probably not going to look like that, but that's the idea. Uh, but you can also see it's already started to dip down. Like the emissions have started to decline across the board, which is why we're not in that like apocalypse scenario anymore. If you go to this website, decarbmystate.com, you can look at any state, and we've counted every single power plant. We've counted all the cars that are there, which ones are electric and which ones are not, all the buildings and which ones have been electrified or not. So you can see how well is my state doing, where do I still have to go, what are those coal plants that we need to shut down? Is one close to my home? Can I go join an organization and a campaign that's trying to shut it down right now, right? You can actually go find and Google each one of these coal plants and find out what's going on. We have, like I said, all this information about what's happening. Uh, this is the numbers for Illinois. As you can see, we have a lot more EVs, electric vehicles, that need to be sold. Uh, we need to stop selling gas cars, gas-powered cars. Like, your next car must be electric. So in Illinois, if we focus on those big pieces, that is 65% of the problem. And that is a huge chunk of getting us the, all the way to solving the climate change problem. So go to decarbmystate.com. And you can learn how to get started. We have not only this information, but ways to electrify your own home. We have resources for that. And then also um, resources on how to get involved in political campaigns and elect candidates that actually care about this issue and will push for those policy changes to electrify everything else. Uh, and then we can be all part of this awesome future of a decarbonized, electrified future. And we can actually keep the global temperature down below the three degrees and shoot for something more, uh, more habitable for everybody, like two degrees. Uh, I'd like to thank all the people who worked on this website at Shy Hack Night over the last six months. Juan Pablo Velez, Victor Coves, Sean Watland, Howard Keir, Dylan Halpern, Eliza Rudolph, Joyce Sohiri, Samantha Goodman, Shelby Barron, Jack Maddens, Sarag Nilthapati, and Robert Herrera. Uh, if you're in the room, by the way, say hi. Thank you. Yay! We did it! And of course, to tie it all back to tonight's theme, thank you, Shy Hack Night. This, is not, this project would not have been possible without Shy Hack Night itself being the space where we can come together and find like-minded individuals and work on projects that matter. So thank you.